Okay, we can start. This is problem one, page four to seven, chapter sixteen. What are the main information available in uh, available in, uh, in this exercise? We have. Uh, for tax rate you can read the text of the exercise tax rate is equals to 30 percent then we have uh, the main component of the uh, consolidated capital section which are 10 year Euro bonds, bond, so denominated in euro for euro six million. Then we have twenty year. Yen denominated bond, so yen for yen seven fifty hundred million. Then we have. 25 year USA dollars bond which is denominated in USA dollars it is equal to dollars 10 million we have also Five year years, I will not which is also denominated in uh, USA dollars, which is equal to USA dollars four million. Common stock for USA dollars sixty five million and finally retained earnings. For USA dollars, fifteen million. Then we have the spot exchange rate. Rates between dollar. A euro which is equal to 1.24 dollar per euro the spot rate between dollar and pound which is equal to 1.86 dollar per each pound and finally Yen for each USA dollars, which is equal to one zero nine yen for each USA dollar. Now we have to compute the weighted average cost of capital. 
considering that the cost of equity have been estimated equal to 20%. So the other information is cost of equity equal to 20%. Question is we will need to compute the uh, weighted average cost of capital. Now, the main uh, financial source sources are the 25 USA dollars bond. So the bond at 25 years in USA dollars we have to express all the financial sources in do USA dollars so this is equal to 10 million dollars and we have 5 euro notes in USA dollar which are equal to US dollar 4 million then we have 10 year ten Ten years euro bond, so denominated in euro. We have to convert in uh, USA dollar, so we have to multiply it by the spot rate euro dollar, which is this one. So we have to multiply one point twenty four by six million. Euro and we get USA dollars seven million four four zero. The same for the twenty year bonds in yen to twenty year in yen bonds. We have to use the exchange rate between yen and USA dollars. So we have to divide 750 hundred million by the exchange rate, which is 109, and we get the equivalent amount of USA dollar, which is equal to USA dollar 6 million eight. Eight zero seven three four. The other component is given by the um, shareholders' equity, which is given by the sum of these two components, which are common stock and retained earnings. So the shareholder. Holders equity is equal to the sum, which is equal to USA dollar fifty million. And we can compute the total, which is equal to USA dollar seven eight. Three two zero seven three four. We need the, the total to compute the percentage uh, weight of each one of this component. So by computing the ratio between each component and the total, we get the weight, the percentage weight. First component is weights is 
seven seven percent second is five point one one percent then we have nine point five percent eight point seventy nine percent we can um, report this proportion here So twelve point six six percent, five point one one percent, nine point five percent. We have to report also the shoulders equity weight here, which is sixty three point eighty four percent, and the total must be equal to one hundred percent. So we can report here 8.69 percent, 63.84 percent, and the total which is 100 percent. Now we have to uh, report the pre-tax cost of each one of these component. You can uh, find in the text, for instance, the tax cost for the first component which is 25 bond denominated in, in the USA dollars cost is equal to 6% then we have 4% 5% 2% and for equity is 20% now we have to compute the post tax Cost, which is you um, have to consider the fact that uh, firm doesn't pay tax on interest. So six for the first component and one minus zero point three, but because the um, tax rate is thirty percent, so this is equal to four point two percent. Second component is 4 times 1 minus 0 0.3, which is equal to 2.8 percent. Third component is 5 times 1 minus 0 0.3, which is equal to 3.5 percent. Fourth component is 2 times 1 minus 0 0.3, which is equal to 1.4. Finally, 20%, because in this case the cost of capital can be uh, subtracted uh, to, for, in order to compute the tax, the final tax. Now we can compute the weighted cost. in order to compute the uh, weighted energy cost of, of capital we have to multiply each post tax cost for the relative weight so for first component we have 4.2 times 12.77 percent which is equal to 0 0.5367 Then we have 2.8 times the weight, which is 5.11 percent, which is equal to 0 0.143 percent. 
This component is 3.5 times the weight, which is 9.5 percent, which is equal to 0 0.3325. Now we can compute 1.4 times the weight, which is 8.79%, which is equal to 0 0.1. 2, 3%. Most important component is 20% the cost of capital times the weight which is 63% percent which is equal to 12.768%. By adding all this value we find the WACC, which is 13.9027%. It's very difficult to read. I hope you can understand by uh, following my, uh, my voice. What is important is that is the assumption that this spot exchange rate, that we, that, uh, we, ca we haven't a change in the uh, exchange rate over the period uh, of the um, we uh, are considering in order to compute the weighted average cost of capital.